Hello, I'd like to introduce you to version 3.0 of the classified posting software. After you've installed the software on your computer and you've set up the uh, program to run, you'll notice a QR code right here and you'll click this to begin. Remember, this program was designed to create good, search-friendly ads for classified sites that get you more traffic. So let's begin doing an example. Click here to begin. So the first thing you're going to notice is the program will pop up messages and notes. Read everything thoroughly and it should make 100% um, sense and I'll make it easier for you to do this. So I'm going to go in here and start and here's Google and this is a tool we built in here for people to easily be able to create titles. One of the biggest problems is the titles that you see on these uh, classified sites with all these uh, weird characters and gibberish. Um, they're not really well written for people to want to click them or even for search engines to index them. So what we're going to do is use the rules to make better ads. So I'm just going to search by a collection. You could, however, search by um, the product ID number or whatever you'd like but this is going to give us the best results. As you'll see now, there's a bunch of results coming up in here and all you have to do is simply select the one that looks the best and just simply paste it in. And you can edit and modify this if it has uh, characters or weird scribbly things or um, competing store names. Just edit those out. So now we have a good title. We're going to go ahead and continue. Next thing we need to do is figure out the pricing. So one of the easiest ways to do it is using free tools online that your consumers use. Um, you've heard of Amazon and, and Google Shopping and, and all these different uh, shopping sites. So this one syndicates and pulls the results. So here I'm looking um, just real quickly at um, just some different ads. So the one that we're going to be posting today is going to be, uh, let's do the uh, a poster bin. Let's say that's what we're after. So online I'm looking here and I can drill down and see what the set includes. But this is so you can see what other people are charging for similar items online. And these are from all different furniture stores. So you'll see a different pricing in here. So the key thing you want to do is not just put the same price you have in your store and expect to get great traffic. You want to put prices that it's actually a good deal. But in doing so, you want to make sure you're competitive. So use this uh, free step and free tool to kind of give you a soundboard. So on this one right here, um, I'm just going to put a price in here. And again, this is just a sample. Um, if this was an actual ad that I was going to be using, um, I'd take more care to look up individual items and make sure dollars and cents. So we got a price in here. We're going to head ahead and continue. Now the next thing is um, when they click on us, um, the image that they're going to see in the ad. Now the image is the most important part of the ad. So we want to use a real high resolution image. Now some of you might already have accounts. If not, we have them here to set up. But you have early in the setup process, you should have set up some free uh, photo sharing accounts. But here you have your photo bucket, um, Picasa, and all the major ones. By default, we've um, loaded up this uh, here. And this is just um, straight Google and uh, it's automatically sorting it by the highest resolution photos. So I'm just going to try to use this one right here. It looks like a real good image and this is just a little cheat. Um, you don't have to do it. You could download, use your own photos off your own photo sharing and just go ahead and get that link. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and grab one off of here. So I click on this. I want to see the full size image which is this. Now between Firefox, Exploder, I'll have different ways. Um, if you right click the image, um, normally in Firefox you would see a, a copy image uh, URL and that's what you would want to use. On this one, if you have Internet Explorer, then you can just select properties and then right here you can just copy that image right there and go ahead and paste it. Okay, now we have an image. Incidentally, the button that says website will just go and pull up your website. So images you've already have, you can just, uh, again, right click and just use those. When you're doing an image, keep this in mind. On Photobuck and some other accounts, they put brackets around it or some weird kind of scribbling. 
this is the format that it needs to be in, just like this here, ending with some type of image extension like JPEG or PNG or .gif, but this is how it should look. Go ahead and hit continue when you're done. Now we have um, the option of going ahead and where do we want to send the traffic? So when they click on images and they're interacting, what is the ad purpose? Um, do we want to go to our website? Do we want to get um, more likes on our Facebook page? Maybe you've created a nice video um, and you want to send them there. Um, again, cell phones are great. Maybe you just want them to um, just click and get turn-by-turn -turn directions. And the feature we've added that no one else offers is the ability to actually let them purchase right off of your classified ad on all classified sites, uh, Craigslist, Backpage, etc. So for this one, I'm just going to send it to the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click website here. And uh, that just ensures that the right address is there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. So what we've done now is we have created the ad. Um, so for all intents and purposes, you just made an ad right there. And not just one. The software automatically took that one ad you've made and made six completely unique ads that you can post on Craigslist, Backpage, eBay, whatever you wish. So now, basically, we have a couple options. Um, again, read the thing, and it explains everything step by step. I'm just walking you through the, the nuts and bolts, the basic part of this here. Um, we're going to go ahead and just uh, post one on Craigslist. So I'm going to go over here, and here's your tabs right here, Craigslist, Backpage, eBay, Oodle, um, special promotions, review all of your ads, um, we'll talk about this in a second, these two. So let's go ahead and just hit Craigslist. And you'll pull up Craigslist here. And you can see here, you can also um, search and kind of uh, look right into Craigslist here. Just kind of, you know, view it. It's just Craigslist, not a big deal. So what we have here is these uh, ads. Remember, I said six ads. So by clicking on this, it will change and post a date here. And that shows you the last time you used this ad. So by clicking this... We now have a date that we're going to be using the ad for and give this program a second and there we go. So let's go ahead and create an ad. So I want to use for sale. I'm going to go furniture by dealer and I'm going to pick a random location. Um, you can pick wherever you like. And so the first thing to do is um, I, I went through it quickly. But if you read the thing, your ad is already copied on your clipboard. So everything about this program is all about copy and paste. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and right click and paste our ad. So our ad's already in the program now, so it's ready to go. Up here at the top, you'll notice that the things here and over on the left hand side match identically. So again, we click on the word over here and that clicks it for us and we can simply go through and just copy and paste. We don't have to do extra typing. We don't have to worry, do we already use that ad or, or use a Word documents with hundreds of ads all over the place. Um, we're just putting them through here. Again, the program showed you you don't have to have a Craigslist account, but it is helpful. Um, so this is copying the email address that was used when we set the program up. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. And again, this is all just demo information here. Um, I'm going to hide it. That's a good thing to point out. Um, when you're doing your ads, if you hide the email, the only way to contact you is in the ad. And that's usually what we want. If your goal is to collect uh, customer email addresses for campaigns, then you'd want to include an email address. But just be aware that any email used here will usually fill up with a lot of spam. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. We already have our image done, so we don't need to worry about this step. And I'm going to go ahead. And now if you look down here, we have our ad already placed. Nice, big, beautiful picture. Click here to go right to the website. And this ad is ready to go and done. All I have to do now is uh, click on the continue part. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. This is a, a sample one. And uh, it'll tell me that, great, we've sent you something and all those things. Now, if I would have had an account, I'd have instantly saw the ad address and I would have used that um, for promotion purposes. So again, I just posted that ad that it took me a couple seconds to make and I could continue right now and keep posting 
um, another uh, four, uh, another, I'm sorry, another five ads without any problems. So now we're going to go back here to the main screen and go over a couple of the, the features we have here. Um, the first one is you can insert a description if you want. So if you wanted to have more detail, a lot of people um, keep this in mind. We give you six ads, but by using this tool um, correctly, you'll read this up here. Um, you can insert random quotes into the ad, and that way you can do not just six, but we've had some furniture dealers that are capable of doing just one of our ads and posting it over 150 times without any duplication or problems. So here's this part in here. Again, we talked about the ad. If I would have had the ad URL um, from Craigslist back page, wherever it is, um, I could have stuck that in there. And then just by clicking these buttons, I can post that on my Facebook wall, my Twitter feed, and I could even print out um, a custom price tag um, for my floor. Uh, so that's basically another thing. So and you know what, let's, let's show that feature right now. So here I'm just going to go ahead and what I just put on Craigslist, I want on my floor now uh, my own special price tag to kind of reflect it. So I'm going to hit this. There's the package title. I can edit this out if I want. Put a short description in here. So I'm going to put like five piece bedroom set. Okay. And then I'm going to put a uh, package type. Um, this is going to be a uh, a bedroom group. Now you'll play with this and get it exactly like you like. Um, I'm just gonna on this one maybe switch it so it doesn't look so much. Um, there we go. Now the next screen after I put these in here pops up and again read all the stuff. We've left all the notes to make it very easy for you. If you just right click and hit paste and click open, remember we've automated as much as a thing. This is not an auto poster. This is a self-assisted poster that follows the guidelines of most of these classified sites. So it wasn't designed to spam, but make the ads a lot quicker. So um, you have to have a PayPal to use this feature. So I'm just going to go put in uh, one, two, three. Uh, dot com. Like I said, we're not going to use um, real information, but there's my PayPal email. This product ID, um, I'll give it a, a number. Again, I'm not using anything um, legit. I'm just putting numbers in just to test it here. And local delivery fee, I'll put that in there. And again, this is just generic information. Click OK. And then now the next screen that pops up, you'll see is I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, cancel but you can see the image the price if you scan that right there on your floor they'll go right to a checkout and they'll be done so there we go so we've uh, printed a thing we've posted on our Facebook and our Twitter we've creating ads we're doing all these great things with it um, let's talk about a couple of things the software does that really makes it stand out um, we've gone through here and a couple of things to notice you have a promotional tab um, that's just uh, more additional marketing um, that you can use. Um, the ad report is interesting. You can see kind of here, we've done some uh, just generic examples, but this shows you everything you've posted, uh, the day it's renewable, and how many you've posted. So you can keep track. You can even print out a posting log if you like. Um, usually your salespeople you know, get phone calls saying, hey, I saw such and such on Craigslist. That will be a nice little uh, sales tool for you to identify. So you have that feature. And let's talk about one of the, the big things. Um, this software has a flag proofing uh, tool built into it. And basically the flag proofing tool will walk you through in three steps and create ads. I'm not going to do it for this uh, demo presentation, but you just follow those three steps and it will create you an ad that literally is about 98.5% um, flag or ghost proofed. Um, it, it is is a great way to go. Um, so if you're in territories that are getting flagged constantly by competitors, that might be a, a tool to use. Um, for people who use auto posting software currently, um, the program actually creates ads for auto posters um, written a special way, and that's included with this uh, software as well. Many dealers that uh, use auto posters use this to create their ads and then copy and, and paste it into the program. 
So that's basically the overview. Um, again, all you have to do is follow the QR and that will take you right back to the main menu. Um, thank you for your time today and I uh, hope you enjoy using our new posting version.